Yeah, so, all right, so today we, we shall start with extension strategies. I introduced it yesterday, the other time when I was almost finishing my lesson. So, we are going to start with the extension strategies. And I'm going to share something here. But you guys, make sure you watch the videos I send you. They are always well summarized and they, they can save you from, you know, lagging behind so um okay sorry sorry Tell me that you're seeing something. Yes. yes. Good, good. So those are the extension strategies. I want to start from here. Guys, learn how to summarize. Uh, I know we have sharp memories, but it's good always, you know, note down something. It is very good and saves you and saves even our time. Make sure your book is always before you, a business book and a pen. Note down the things. They are well summarized and at least cannot down what you understand. It will save you. Most of those people who try to dodge and are so inconsistent, you are less considered by the system because you, 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 we, we may not easily, you know, revise for you, but at least I always record. I send you notes, I send you PDF, YouTube links, PowerPoints. So in case you miss a lesson, people like Amanda, don't just sit back. Always check our WhatsApp group, check our channel, all, all those things are always there. So that by the time you, you meet, or by the time we meet again, you're not green. Good. So, extension strategies, this is the thing I've been talking about. When a business is almost, almost, or when the product is almost, you know, customers are getting uninterested, less interested in it, you introduce extension strategies. And these are the examples here. These are examples are the ones you are more interested in. Because when you have a case study, we don't need you to, to just phrase and say new markets, refer, we don't. Be, 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 be direct, tell us exactly if you have a restaurant, if you have a transport company, hairdressing, and you see that maybe people are getting used to your kind of stuff, what do you do? So I talked about selling in new markets, this one is like setting up new branches, you know, uh, getting to another country, region, province, to repark in case they are tangible. This one, even if they are tangible or intangible, relaunch, find the new uses of a, new uses for the product, rebrand it. I told you branding last week. So this the, these are the extension strategies you are talking about about and there are things i this is the thing i covered last time when i was about in the lesson so try to remember because i'm going to add something quiet good yeah here i had a table for you increase the use of the product reduce the price advertise more in, uh, get promotion offers you get it. so it's like quite uh grabbing consumers interest back so uh, yeah so i want to show you this curve last time i showed it to you so when you look at this curve this is the product life cycle this is the extension strategy you try to extend the life of the product so that it doesn't decline like here but continues you know uh, generating a lot of uh, money for you or revenue and a maturity stage. You don't allow it to decline. So I said most businesses spend a lot of time on this stage, like what Gans has said. Most businesses spend a lot of time here by introducing other stuff, by talking about all those extension strategies you have talked about. They remain here and they keep on drawing more other lines. They can even be 10, no problem. When you are drawing, you're not limited to three lines. 
you can draw and draw and draw and draw and draw depending on how many strategies you have you know put in place if they are three draw three kind of lines if they are four two whatever it's based on the number of lines so this third business spend a lot of time on it and i emphasize that i gave you companies like coca-cola i talked about uh, Apple products, I talked about pets, I talked about football teams, they remain new and winning trophies. That means they are still on maturity stage. They cannot leave that stage. They get better players, better coaches, you know, stadiums, they introduce new, you know, sports artists, jerseys, whatever. They remain on the maturity stage. So you can base it on any service, any product, any bank, any anything that can remain touching, interesting, you know, burning for the for the longest period of time. Good. So this is the exception strategy curve. This is, a, this is the curve you may write, you may draw in a paper to try to apply knowledge. This one can be the best. And can apply it on any kind of case study. Can we continue? Are you following? We are following. Yeah. Yes, so, yes. Very good. So that is the accession strategy I talked about last time. Please note down stuff, note down work. It will be good for you to remember. So, because this work, you need it up the time you sit for a level. So, write your work in a book, knowing that you need it for future reference. Yeah, so because it is not always easy to repeat all, all the kind of stuff. Yeah, though the teacher may wish, but time, because there's always things to cover in every point of time. So, write down the work, and that's the introduction I can give you. So let us continue. We, we have extension strategies in place. You want to remain on the maturity scale. You want to remain a star in the market. You want to outcompete all your competitors and drivers, which is very good. But we have what you call uh, the relationship between product life cycle and marketing mix. You look at that question. Product life cycle has four stages. Marketing mix has four P's. Now, we want to know, the approach is, if your product is under introduction stage, how should you set the price? That is price. So I'm collecting my product under introduction to the marketing mix price. I still say, if I'm under introduction stage, how should I promote my product? I'm connecting the, introduction, the product life cycle of uh, introduction to promotion. I can still say, if I'm under introduction, how should I distribute my goods? That is place. If I'm under introduction, how should I, uh, what is the next PP? Less promotion, products, yeah. How should the product be? So I'm going to take you through this. And uh, the table will look like this, but I want us to discuss it. I don't want us to base more on the kind of stuff I prepared. So this is the kind of approach we have, you know. This is the phase of product life cycle, introduction, growth, maturity, decline. But under introduction, you need to price your good wisely. How will you promote your product? How will you distribute it? How will you have your product in place? How should it look? Now, we cannot ask you this question the way it is here, but we can give you a case study. You find out that the product under introduction is stay, has a good price, promotion is okay, but plus they have a weakness here. So you need to wisely advise or justify or recommend. Therefore, after seeing that kind of table, I'm going to close it, then we go through 
every stuff together because I know we have answers. We have, we have got the, the, the approach. Introduction, what should the price be? Promotion, place, product. That's okay. If, we are, if you're under maturity, how should the price be? How should the promotion be? How should you distribute? How should the product be? So that's the approach. And uh, I'll ask one by one. Uh, first of all, uh, Derek, Derek, unmute. I ask you a question. Yes. What have you understood? What are we going to look at? Phases of the product lifecycle. Sorry? The phases of the product lifecycle. Are you sure? Those phases, we, already, we, we studied them already, man. You didn't, get, you didn't get the approach. You didn't get what you're going to look at. Uh, identifying how cash don't generate. Sorry? Delicate before you playing there. We come to analysis part and you. Uh, you must someone else. Anelka, what are we going to look at? From my introduction, what have you understood? What are we going to look at? America is not speaking. Who has understood what we are going to look at? From my introduction. Because if you don't get the introduction, you cannot understand the content. Yes, uh, Divine, Vogelziga. What are you going to look at? I see your hand up. So I think you are going to look at the relationship between product life cycle and the marketing mix. So here we are going to look at the as the product passes through all those phases of the product life cycle, yeah. how it should behave, think using all those four Ps. Very good, very good. You're following. Nice. Guys, make sure you're writing. You're writing down some kind of stuff because you need to understand these things very well. This is the part which is very sensitive. It is the A-level stuff. You are in A level, and this is where we need you to analyze. When you look at a product in the market, you can easily say, no, they are, they are, their product is okay, but I think they set a wrong price. Or you say, no, they have a good product, it is having a fair price, but I think they are not advertising well. They are using wrong advertising channels, which cannot meet their target market. This is analytical. This is where you can give a, a valid argument. Uh, or you say the product is good, it is it's still under introduction. Okay, if it is under introduction, the price is fine. They are advertising very well, they are using the right channels. But I think they are not distributing it very well. They are still using one channel. And yet maybe their customers need to, 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 to get uh, products from middlemen. That's, that, this is analytical. We have come to case studies now. You read the case study, you can easily know that. By the way, even the understanding that when you read the case study, you see the products and services they, they provide. Right now, you should be able to tell that this product is under introduction, or it's under growth, or maturity, or decline. Because a case study will not mention that. They will just say, 
cells of maybe one million. Okay, they had cells of uh, four million. And in uh, 2018, they had cells of let's say five million. Okay, and then they, they say maybe in the following year they introduced a new product. So you look at a case study, you read wisely, you can easily cite and understand how they have been going through all the stages of the product. This is the analysis we need, and everyone I need or I require of oh, to understand. If right now, when you read a case study, you cannot understand the state of a product of that business, you have not yet understood product life cycle. How can you make sure that you can understand the product of a business and its state? Read the features. For the case studies are not always vague, they are always clear. They will tell you something about sales, something about competition, something about costs and profits. They should. They will always be there. They will give you pie charts, uh, the graphs, the words, tables, showing you clearly. They will not mention, but you are able to tell that sales are fluctuating, they are increasing, or they are declining. You should be able to tell. And we need that in your answer. That's why I always tell you apply. Those are the ones I always need. So that you can easily read the case study and talk about it in words. I'm talking, I'm talking to people who are not yet even understand what we are talking about. So, okay, good. So, that's product life cycle. Now, we are going to connect the way, uh, I, don't, I don't know whether I pronounce your name well, but you, you, I'm sorry for that. You excuse me. The way Vuguziga has said, uh, every product, if it passes through all stages, which decisions, people were asking about product uh, marketing mix decisions, which decisions should you make under price, under product, under promotion, under place? That's what you are looking at right now. Someone is making nice. Yeah, I want to make sure you're following it. Okay, good. I'm adding someone here. Yeah, people, I always add people once, but you. Okay, fine. So we are going to look at product life cycle and marketing mix connected. This is analytical. So we start. I'm going to share something very small first. Then I can give you the introduction and we can at least uh, contribute in the next phases. Yeah, now look, look at your screen. Look at your screen. Look at your screen. The phase is introduction. We are under introduction. Now, when you're answering, make sure you can mention some features here. I cannot repeat the features, I've already talked about that. Price. If the product is still new, what should be the price? They are telling us that the product or the price may be high. The price may be high compared to the competitors. Or low compared to the competitors. You can set any price. You can let the price be high or be low. When it is high, it will be scheming. If it is low, it will be penetration. These are the terms we shall study under price. Now, when a product is new, but the business is existing, understand me. If the business is already existing, is already you know operating, but the product is purely new, you can set a high price. Because you already have a brand. That's what we are trying to assume. You already existing. People have been, you know, enjoying your products. You can set scheming. It is okay. Why? People will think that this pro new product that is somehow expensive is better than this one, which is existing. So when your business is existing and it introduces a new product, you can set a higher price. 
But when a business is new and a product is new, you can use penetration when a price is low. And this one is not absolute, it depends on the case study still. But for case of understanding, we can use that kind of ab absoluteness. Have you got the first phase? I want to continue to promotion. Yes, yes no. Can. Good. So when the product is new, introduction, you are, if you are existing business, existing business, and you introduce a new product, set a higher price. It is fine because you have a brand, you, you already, you know, some are successful, customers have already known you. Yeah. If you are new and the product is new, penetration is better. And I've still, I've, I've still said it's not absurd. One day we shall be revising and I tell you, no, the business is new and the product is new, but set, penet uh, set scheming. Don't set it, that's, what we, that's not what you said. We base on the case study most of the times in paper too. You can give your idea and it is, uh, it is correct. Good. So we go to promotion. Promotion is how you make your customers know. Your customers know about your product. What should you do about the product which is under introduction? Informative advertising. Informative is not persuasive advertising. Inform people about your new product. Inform them. Make them aware, you know, and you can use any kind of channel. Place. Place I said is like, it is not location. It is distribution channels or outlets. If you are still new as a business, if you are still a new business, use a few channels or few outlets because you are not able to have a lot of stores and branches in every location. So if you're still new, you have a few of them. You can even have one because you have to reduce costs. But if you are existing business, you already have, you know, existing channels already, existing stores and branches, use all of them. Yeah, so this one can apply to the life of the business. If the life of the business is just and a bad stage is still new, use few outlets. If you're still, if you're existing, use many of them. Product, we say basic model. Basic, we try to mean, let it have the features customers want. That's what we mean by basic. Then, as, as, as you see the interest of customers towards your product, you can add other features. So basic, let it have the features customers are more interested in apparently but with the time after you testing the the turn up of customers you can remove one feature they are not loving or you add more so this is all about testing you know people know how to test microphones you are just trying to test so that's why we, we say basic model explain basic model as having features on the product that customers are more interested in so that's how you can explain introduction stage in connection to all the four P's. Can I continue? Yes. yes, yes. Okay. If there's no question, I continue to growth. Growth. Growth, I told you, don't just run to explaining four P's, showing us that you need a lot. No. If you talk about the stage, before you explain any, for any of the four P's, tell us some features. Say growth, here the business has rapid sales, high profits, costs are low, and competition is somehow, somehow you know, uh, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, or it is, the business, the product is experiencing some kind of competition. That's what we say. I'm only talking about a few features. Now, explain under price. Now, if you're under growth, you are getting a lot of sales. That means customers accepted the first price. Remember, this is a connection. No product can go to growth before introduction. So it means the steady, what you did here, what you did here determines what you do here. If scheming worked, you will keep scheming. So I don't want you to base on more on the words. This morning, what I'm explaining, 
because this is paper two. If you set a higher price last year and ask me what you should do with the price this year, I'll repeat. A case study says last year you had a higher price, but if with the higher price you had the higher sales and you go to growth stage, uh, can you keep that price or you should reduce it? What can you do if you are the one answering? People got my question, you can answer me. Shall we keep the price? You keep the price. Very good. If the price was high last year, that is introduction stage, and you were able to get more sales, which were very rapid, and you go to growth stage. Hmm. You, it means customers have accepted your price. Therefore, you can keep it. You can keep it high. But if the price was you know, high, and sales are not rapidly increasing. They are just increasing on a slow rate. It means you, have, you need to adjust the price a bit, and you lower it a bit. So don't take these notes here, absolutely. Just always base more on the case study, because they always give you questions in months or in years, showing sales, and you can easily give a wise decision. So if the price was high, and sales are not increasing proportionately. You can lower the price a bit. You have to have students listen to this. Every time, if you want to increase sales, the solution is not always about price. A student who has understood four Ps, don't always rush to talk about price. The problem may not be price. Let's continue. Cross state under promotion. Consumers need to be convinced. Here it was informative. Now you need to convince them here. Now convincing it is somehow to persuade customer. Now here we phrased it as informative. Let us phrase it, let us phrase it as persuasion here. Persuade the customers. Carry out that persuasive advertising. Persuasive advertising convinces customers. You dance on their emotions and ego, and uh, they are going to make repeated purchases, and they can easily identify your brand from all the competitors around. So, here the price may not be the problem, but maybe promotion, you, you are still using informative instead of using persuasion or persuasive advertising. Let us continue. Here can be okay, here it is okay. We are using persuasive, here we are using the right price depending on what happened last year. Plus, you, your business is on growth stage, but you are still using a few outlets. Outlets are like branches. Add more. You are getting more customers. You had a few customers in just one region. Now others are coming from another province, coming to this province to get your goods. Create an outlet in their province. So here, place, you, you, you add on more, you know, outlets, add on more, add on more, depending on where your customers are coming from most. Very good. So, never rush to talk about price. Most of the times, under analytical questions, price may be okay, but when they are, the rest of the four P's are the ones with the problem. Under good stage, let us talk about product. Here, third basic model features. Here, improve on them. Maybe what you added is not good, and maybe what you left is what is needed. Modify it, improve it. How, will, how can you improve on it? Based on customers' turn up, customers' feedback, customers' interest. You added something here, but they don't need it. Remove it, add something, or they just, they love everything here. Improve on it, depending on the new computers that have come, the ones you mentioned here. Computers have come. Improve on it, depending on the competitors. Be ahead of them. So, under growth stage, it depends entirely, entirely on introduction stage. What, the, what happened last year on the last sales determines what you're going to do today. So don't take these answers absolutely. Always based on what happened last year, because that data is always there in the question, 
that data is always there, showing your sales, showing your turn up of customers and everything. Therefore, if you have a question, part C, it has eight marks, part D has 11 marks, justify. Never talk about four Ps and you mentioned one element. No. If they talk about you assessing marketing mix, the question is marketing mix, make sure in your question, sorry, in your answers, you have in details with relevant examples talked about the four Ps. If they ask you four Ps, you talk about only one P, you will not get marks which are very good you can end up getting like two so whenever you see marketing mix anywhere find ways find the right words to use and you talk about the four piece very good that is growth stage have you got growth stage how it is depending or a dependent on introduction step and i continue yes very good yes yeah and if you have a question feel free to ask so we are we are we are done with the maturity. Remember here competition is coming. Here competition is coming. Here you never had much. Here it is coming. Now under maturity stage we say sales are rapid. Sales are rap. Sorry, here sales are rapid. Here they are increasing but on a slow rate. Competition is very stiff, very stiff. Profits are high, but not the not too high why costs are coming up because of competition when there's a lot of competition all of you know there's the way we, you shall dance with the price you shall have to reduce it a bit and you cut out a lot of non-promotion activities gifts that is money samples discounts all that kind of stuff because of competition no what do you do on maturity stage with the price? Here, before I give you the, the, the applicable answer, here they are saying computers are likely to be entering the market. There will be need to keep prices at competitive level. Now, in business, businessmen are always flexible. You don't need to be static. People study economics, you know what happens with the UK. UK, they kept their pound fixed. And because of keeping it fixed, it makes it not to be marketable than a dollar. A dollar is flexible. One day, today, you, you hear it is this amount of money, tomorrow it is this amount of money. This is one, 920, the other day it is 940. So for it is depending on the forces of demand and supply. That's why people love it. But a pound, UK, makes it somehow fixed and they say it cannot go low to beyond this point of money or point of, of of currency so when you come to here you come to this thing or reset your price depending on your competitor's price that's what we call competitive levels people who know oil companies oil companies like in the Rwanda perspective the oil prices are not always having a bigger difference. No. Why? Competition is very stiff. And most of all the businesses in oil business, they are under maturity stage. They make a lot of sales and profit, but they carry out kind of, you know, competition. They have a lot of competition. They come up with very many promotions every day. That's, that, that, that's expensive. Therefore, under maturity stage, set a price based on the competitor. Let it be the same or relatively lower than his. So write two points. Competitive levels means keep your prices exactly the same as your competitor or let them be relatively low. That's how I can explain my point in a practical paper like paper two. For writing, I'm still waiting for you. Competitive levels, set your price uh, the same as your competitor, or relatively lower than the competitor's price. When you come to promotion, under promotion, when you are at maturity stage, absolutely with no doubt, you already have a brand. People will easily mention, will easily mention that 
we mentioned your product by name, by logo, by trademark, they already have that kind of understanding of your product. They have some kind of loyalty. Now, make sure you advertise your product in relation to the brand you have built. If your business or your products are very okay and fine, they are corporate, let's say they are corporate, they meet a, a given market of customers that are on a given level of status. Don't use low status kind of promotion methods, no. If your business, you have built a brand and your target market is like these people of a low status, don't use high status kind of promotion methods. So here, based on your market and on your brand, you have built in customers' minds, Choose the right promotion method. If your business is of high status, or youth, let's say youth, youth, youth will rarely watch TV adverts. But if you use social media, you easily meet them. Okay? If you talk about uh, low, 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 people of low status, that's a bigger market, and they are always the people of the biggest population. Don't use uh, billboards more. You can use them, but don't use them most. Don't use, uh, uh, let's say, social media, I think they are not so much there. But you can use radio stations. Those people listen to radios more times than any, any, any other media or any other promotion channel. So here, depending on your brand, you have built, Depending on the brand you have built, choose the right promotion method. We are going to study promotion and I will give you more methods there. Because so far we are studying pro product. All these things, you are going to study them in detail. Okay, and I will be reminding you, sorry, I will be reminding you this kind of stuff. So under pro place, under place, here we said restricted, here add on more, here still add on more. Because now you have a bigger market, you have a bigger market bigger market so set up and open up more outlets this one is very brief it doesn't have a lot of complex products because there's a lot of competition here we need extension strategies we need them so extension strategies come in on this stage under product and you mentioned all the examples i gave you get a new market rebrand repackage you package the product. Yeah, so all the extension strategies, all the examples I've given you in my introduction, we need them here. New models, new colors, new packaging, new taste. You know, entice them the more. So product is where we need to emphasize most depending on the phase we are looking at. Now, look. On maturity stage is where we want to stop. No business wants to go to decline stage. So when you expand this maturity stage, you need to show how the business must more emphasize here, so that the next stage is death. Because you wouldn't wish for it. No, you cannot. So maturity stage is the best where you should be and stay. That's why uh, Ganza told us that this is the period where businesses spend the longest period of time. And I gave you more. And that is always the best. Any questions about maturity or you have understood? And I continue. Can you um, repeat a can again you repeat? on the product? I'm on my treat. You are speaking at the same time, so I'm not getting what you said. So can you repeat the on maturity? Okay. But before I repeat, what exactly have you got? Tell me like two or one point you have got under maturity. Sorry? 
Hey, if you don't repeat, I'm not going to answer your question. You got you 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 answer my simple question. People pay answering questions. They, they, they rather you know die don't know. who asked the question anyway? Who was that person? M I I don't know. Shai, it was me. Amanda. Yes. And I'm asking you, what are the features of maturity state? Then I can answer it. Because we based on the features to answer. You don't know. You don't know. So I did get the features. You don't know what happens with the sales or costs or profit or competition on the maturity state up to now. Yes, no. Amanda, yes or no? So, no. Have you got any state so far? Or I want you want me to repeat maturity is the only one you have not understood. So only maturity. Do you know growth? You try to reply me, please. When I ask you answer me. Do you know growth state? Oh, you want me to repeat everything? Amanda. Yeah, I see someone's hand up. Please speak. Kevin, I see your hand up. What have you got uh, under maturity? If you try to connect it to the four Ps. When you raise up the hand, you, you, you keep quiet, come on. Who has got something under? Okay, that one is fine. Under maturity, who has got something? Yeah, Award. What have you got? You attend the last TV lesson, last week's lesson, and this one. When is that wrong? Because what have you got so far? Peter, may I? I even need to go to the Continue. Um, under maturity, we saw that there is a. Uh, there is, there is low cost due to, due to the high sales that cover up cost. And so the prices. And we also saw that there is underpriced, there is high competition. And so the business will need to keep its prices at the place. They can know go at the same price as the competitors. Go under price to keep them based on the computers. Then under promotion, what do you do? Under promotion, we we keep the brand the brand image and the target market set to build the consumer. You use the methods of promotion that meet your target market. Yes. Yeah. And target market can be used all the people 
uh, urban center people, depending on the on the kind of target market, you try to get promotion methods that meet your target market or your brand. Then what do you do under place? Um, under place, you develop new types of out, out, outlets where it's possible. Very good. You open up more, more outlets. Then under product. Under product, you can get um, new accessories or part of the extension as part of the ex extension strategy. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, guys, I I'm going to share some video for people who have not understood. And make sure you watch it today before you, you sleep. It will tell you more about how 4Ps connect to product life cycle. And repeat for Amanda, like what Rukunda has said, when you are under maturity state, you should set a price basing on your rivals. And I gave you examples of oil companies, SP, uh, Cobill, and others. Their prices are not always, you know, there's no very big gap between them. They're almost the same because the competition is high and they're almost on maturity stage and at the same level. So you set a price basing on your competitors. It can be relatively low or the same. Under promotion, use the promotion methods that meet your target market. If your target market is young people, don't use unfriendly channels that can't meet them. And I gave you things like social media. It can meet most of the youth. Use that one. And a place, open up more outlets, more of them. Open up more outlets. Why? Your market is now bigger. Then under product, just phrase it as extension strategies come in. That's what I talked about in my introduction. Extension strategies mention all those examples, but not all examples fit. Not all examples fit every product. If you're dealing in services, repackaging will not come in. So when you look at all the examples I gave you, get the fitting examples, pick like two or three. Now, guys, when I'm teaching, make sure you're writing what you can understand, because I always emphasize core points. Now, some people may not even understand what strategies are, or extension strategies now, and yet I mentioned all of them. So when I mention extension strategies, refer to your summary you have done. You be active students and try to, you know, follow and uh, move on with me okay yeah so i i have three minutes and maybe tomorrow i'll start from decline state connected to the four p's but in case you're still lacking uh try to please read the pdf i sent you please do and they go to the Microsoft team, this app, the video is there, the YouTube video, it can simplify. So we have very many methods we are putting in place. If you can't understand my kind of what, you can build or you can add on something, you know, basing on the YouTube links I share, the PDF, get the right affordable method you can try. That's why we provide more methods. But don't always be there and try to, you know, be free. Yeah, so... Meora, uh, what did you understand today? Meora, what did you understand today? I first. Hmm? Hey, hey, hey. 
hear you. Okay. Let me talk about the the fact of the uh, on introduction. Are you hearing me? Yes, I can hear you, please. I can hear you. When it's at, when it's at the at stage, like the product, so yeah. you set a high price, the, you use the penetration um, thing, the price penetration, yeah, the penetration pricing, but it dep mm. it all depends on on the case study they give you. Mm. Okay. Yes. And then, I'll continue. Please do. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then on on uh, on on growth. Mm. On breaking, I mean, on still on introduction on promotion, you must advertise very much and give like very much information. To be, you know, uh -huh. How did we term? How did we term that kind of advertising? Which word did I give you, or which word did I tell you? Uh, informative. Under introduction or under growth? Yeah. Uh, under growth, which advertising do you use? Informative or persuasive? Yeah. Persuasive. Okay, thank you for your submission. Though you're not confident of your answers, I don't. Yeah, so. Uh, I want to end from here, but just to make just to remember we we talked about we are talking about because still we shall continue from here tomorrow. We are talking about relationship between product life cycle stages four uh, with the the four P's and so analytical and you need to be having more words. Actually, all the content we have covered under product. When you're talking about this, it needs to be just sparking out of your mind and you just make uh, a better submission. Otherwise, I'll, I'll be posting a simple assignment today after a long break. Yesterday, I had to leave it because I want to give it to, to you after the lesson. So, new students, you're very bad offer No, because things seem new. Uh, don't just sit back there. Make sure you text me anywhere you find a problem and at least I can guide you away. And be serious, please. Because I always move with students who always, you know, somehow stress me. So if you don't want to stress me, it will not seem, I'll forget you. So make sure you, you are always asking me because there are a lot of content we covered in term one. And you don't know it, we covered six topics in term one. Six topics. So don't uh, just sit back there. All right, I wanna wish you a good day and see you tomorrow, guys. Nice time. Bye, bye, bye. bye. All right, good, bye -bye. Day. good day. Too. But make sure you watch the videos, read the PDF. I'll build on this tomorrow. I don't want to base on green minds. Have something in the head that I can try to explain to you. Assignment. I'll post it. You get a notification.